guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's cauliflower day. If you hadn't guessed, we got a lot of cauliflower. We've been cooking a lot of cauliflower. And we still got more cauliflower, as evidenced by this one right here. And the ones that are already cut up right down here. So today's dish at Vegan Finds, and welcome to our show. Um, you might you might notice a, a, a friendly little face there. Um, we are going to be making cauliflower parmesan. Um, and what we basically did is we steamed a head of cauliflower in the microwave uh, for five to six minutes. Um, because you just want to cook it through just a little bit uh, because the baking time um, will take long and if you don't like your cauliflower super crunchy um, steaming it ahead of time helps in the cooking process so what you're gonna do is basically cut the cauliflower so you keep part of the stem intact that's how you make the steaks um, you don't want to cut them too thick so you can see these are about a half an inch thick. Um, that's kind of where you want them. Um, and the ends are going to fall apart. The, you're just going to have to use these parts for something else. Uh, be creative. Make one of our other dishes. So we're flavoring our um, cauliflower with some Trader Joe's vegan chicken -less seasoning salt um, really does add a kind of chickeny flavor to this and basically the prep is super simple we are going to take some mayonnaise we're going to use uh, Hellman's vegan mayonnaise uh, and we're just going to coat the uh, cauliflower steaks in that and then put it into panko breadcrumbs alright buddy alright I hear you. Here. Enjoy. Just ignore. Um, so, here we go. I'm going to start the breading process. To the breadcrumbs, we are going to be adding some seasoning uh, to this to give it a little extra um, Parmesan oomph, so to speak. So, we're going to add garlic powder. We're going to add some dried parsley, some dried basil, some dried oregano. The your typical Italian spices uh, that's going to go on our panko breadcrumbs and we'll be back in a moment okay so we got our mayo and we're the vegan mayo we're using today is Hellman's vegan dressing spread it's vegan mayo um, obviously uh, they're kind of couching their phraseology. Um, I'm going to add to the panko breadcrumbs a tablespoon of basil um, some garlic same amount do, 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 do. Parsley, some onion powder, you get the idea, and oregano. Um, we're gonna, oop, that's not gonna work. There we go. Gonna mix this all up, and then we're gonna coat our. little um, steaks in the um, vegan mayo dip it into the panko breadcrumbs put it on a cookie sheet and bake it for 25 minutes um, 25 minutes covered then we're gonna uncover it to let it crisp up um, and uh, get you know nice and golden brown so I'll be back in a moment all right so I got the oregano in give it a little stir let's gently 
coat up our cauliflower steaks. I'm going to do this on in here because I don't like touching <laughs> mayo. <laughs> don't ask me why. It steps from my upbringing. I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to be a messy child, so um, I got in a lot of trouble. So I, I've rebelled, and now they just call me pig pen around the house. So here we go, coating this up. You don't like touching anything. That, it's true. I don't really like touch. I don't like touching things that are kind of like wet. Wet, yeah. You, that, don't, you don't like wet things. That would be true. You don't like touch. You never like touching. I don't like touch. I never like touching chicken. Right. Um, so that that's not a new. It's not a new thing for me. But may, may, Mayo and I have have it been a long since enemies. Right. Yeah. I, I, I've I've hated mayo probably longer than I hated cauliflower. Now I will say that I do kind of like the vegan mayo. I do like the just mayo um, a lot uh, by comparison. Um, but um, Hellman's, which makes this particular vegan mayo, changed their recipe, so it's it's not. I don't think it's as good. What do you What do you I think? Don't think it's as good um, Doris doesn't think it is, is it's as good either. Um, I actually need some more. But I really don't like to follow your heart, so. Yeah, so, I mean, vegan mayo is a kind of a touchy um, product. Oh, you know who's really good? The Sir Kensington's, right? They make a very good vegan Chipotle, mayo. Though. The the, Chipo the Chipotle um, version of it. So I'm going to keep breading these up, and I'll show you what they look like before they go in the oven. Then we will show you what it looks like when they're done. Okay. okay, so I failed to mention that when you put these, um, get them ready for the cookie sheet, put down some parchment paper or um, coat it liberally with some oil because you don't want these things to stick. Um, since we're trying to cut back on a few calories here, uh, we are foregoing the oil route and sticking with parchment paper. So um, these are now ready for the oven. They're going to bake for... 25 minutes covered, then 15 minutes uncovered. 25 minutes covered, 15 minutes uncovered. I'm not repeating that for your sake. I'm repeating that for my sake because by the time I take the two steps to the stove, I will have forgotten how long these need to cook. So anyway, um, we'll be back when these are cooked. Okay, so now um, the cauliflower steaks have been in the oven for 25 minutes and it's time to add some tomato sauce and um, some mozzarella cheese for the final part of the chicken parmesan. I'll be back in a moment to finish this off. Okay so to this we're going to be adding some Dye mozzarella style shreds. So we're going to pop this back in the oven for 15 minutes. Let the cheese melt a little bit. Um, depending on your oven, you may have to put this under the broiler for a minute or two to get the cheese um, to melt. Um, again, it's all relative. So if the cheese isn't melting, put it under the broiler for about two minutes. That should do the job. Um, we're going to let this cook off. And we'll be back with the final outcome. Mm, that's really tasty. <laughs> so. Okay, so there you have it. Um, cauliflower parmesan. Uh, this was baked at 400 degrees. I don't think I mentioned that before, but preheat your oven. Make sure it's you know fully hot before you start putting these in. Got some sp uh, gluten-free uh, fettuccine with some... Uh, nice tomato sauce on top so if you like these videos please click the subscribe button hit the notification bell leave a comment and please give us a thumbs up 
We hope you enjoy. Hope you had a good Mother's Day. And we'll be back tomorrow with another cauliflower recipe.